Man, these dreams are getting more and more morbid, guys. These things weigh heavily on my mind. Whoa, gotta get going. <laughs> Crack them knuckles, Rio. Ready to beat up every single person in the harbor until I find Land B. Clear my head, get revenge, get back to normal life. That's what it's all about right now. All right, what are we on? Day four here? Good morning, everyone. Morning. Time for a daily warm-up race. You all do your best now. Yeah. yeah. Like always, three laps to the finish. Everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. On your mark, almost time to go. Da, 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 da. Ready? Go! Alright, Mr. Green Sweater Vest Guy in Forklift Number 4. I'm sorry to tell you, but today I'm going to be your worst nightmare. Because I'm going to be dogging you every step of the way, man. There's nothing you can do to get me off your nuts. I won't stop until you're resting with Mark's brother at the bottom of the harbor. It's going to happen. Because that fourth place forklift is mine. Assuming I can actually... Get up here and drive correctly. Feeling a little drunk right now. I'm trying to wipe the sleep dirt out of my eyes, guys. Jeez. It's been a long week, okay? It's my first week on the job. I've had to beat up like 50 guys throughout the course of this week. The dog in my steps. Capsule toys are just shitting all over me. I'm trying to get some unique ones. It's just not working out. Okay, lap one. So at this point, let me ease up a little bit. I want to see like what kind of lead I get on this guy. I'm not really worried about losing to him just yet. There he is. He's pretty slow, man. He's an even worse driver than I am. It's because he works too many hours. You got to take time for yourself, man. You can't just be putting the hours in. What do you got to work so much for anyway? What are you saving up for? Putting yourself through college? Stupid. I feel like I'm getting very ahead of myself now. <sighs> Tomorrow's gonna be even worse, guys. Tomorrow we go for number five. And that means I can't even beat this stupid green sweater guy. I have to just hang back like a loser. Come on, number three, get your ass moving. Part of me just wants to blast ahead right now and see if I could actually get back to first place. I bet you I could. Yeah, maybe not. They're pretty far ahead at this point. Come on, dirt ass, get up there. Everybody's waiting on you. Whoa! I am the danger! I'll put your freaking eye out with this thing. I always appreciated that they let you actually move these things up and down while you're just doing the race. I wish there was some hidden dialogue about that, like, Rio, you gotta keep those things down, buddy. You're gonna punch a hole in a wall. Or literally just, like, stab somebody off their forklift. It's a good thing Rio actually has honor, guys, or else I'd be running over sailors with my forklift every time they attack me. They'd be like, hey, it's a new guy, and I'd be like, crunch. Fuck your bones. Finish. Did it. Fourth place. Man, you really need more practice. Shut up, Mark. Here's your prize. Thanks. Time for work. Give me your best. I always do, Mark. I always do. Gotcha. Take this cargo to warehouse number 18. Here's the map. The quote is written on it. No problem. This one's a bit further, so don't get lost. <laughs> okay, they're pulling a real fast one on us today, guys. If you don't recognize where we are, 
We're actually all the way over by warehouse number 17, where the Mad Angels live. It's right back in that direction. And warehouse number 18 is pretty much on, like, the polar opposite side of the harbor. So it is a long haul today. Let's see, what's my quota? Eight once again. It's doable, but you can't be slacking off. No, sir. And I think in this case, it is pretty much going to always be faster to go down this way. But it's tricky because of assholes like that guy. Ugh. Swing around. And here's number 18. Hey, Mr. Mizuki, you old bum. I hope you're feeling energetic today because I know that you have something to teach me. And if you hold out on me, I'm going to be a very unhappy long couch. Not that I can actually do anything to you, but I'll bitch about it incessantly and my viewers will have to listen to it. So think of them, won't you? Will somebody please think of the viewers? For the love of God. They'll get mad if I leave these outside. <laughs> I just wanted to do that and see what would happen. Yep. You can't really adjust the box to get a better camera angle for yourself. Rio's not about that life, guys. You know, guys, it is a shame that they couldn't fix the problem of the draw distance in this remaster of the game. It was like that in the original, too, where, uh, when you're, like, tear assing through the harbor like this, you can't always see everybody who's going to be in your face from very far away because they just kind of pop into existence when you get close to them. And it's the kind of thing where, like, I don't know how difficult that would be to fix because I am not a game developer. And I think I've mentioned it before, but I know that this game was incredibly challenging to bring to modern consoles because of the complexity of the original code. There's actually a really good article about that on PC Gamer. They uh, interviewed the team that was uh, primarily responsible for the port. It's a team called D3T, and they've done a lot of other ports. Uh, I don't remember exactly what, but they've got good experience with it, and uh, they just talked about some of the challenges they faced and some of the, the craziness that was involved with like translating the game code. A lot of the notes were like in Japanese, and uh, it turns out they're not a Japanese team, so like they were literally throwing notes into Google Translate to try to figure out like what portions of code did what and things like that. They go into a lot of technical stuff that I can't even begin to like repeat or explain, but yeah, I just think about that. I think about like I guess the draw distance of like these NPCs must be hard coded. Some kind of like script that runs in the background that was originally meant to maybe save resources, but it says like, you know, this person is not going to appear until they're within this distance of you, and that's when the game will actually render them in. I would imagine that that's kind of how it works, and I guess that's the kind of work they didn't necessarily want to put into this game. Because then you start getting into like, actual uh, remaster territory. I guess, you know, some people call it a remaster. It's it's not really. It's just an HD port with a couple bells and whistles added. The one thing I really don't understand is why they went out of their way to do things like change the way the move leveling works. Like, they reworked the inventory system, and I really don't think it was in need of that. Like, I was perfectly fine with the original inventory layout. If they wanted to do that, then, like, sure, go for it, I guess. I mean, they had to make a couple... Uh, changes to it to, you know, to fit modern hardware and fit the modern options and everything, but they, they kind of, like, reworked it from the ground up. And they did the same thing with the move list, where you have, you know, I've mentioned it a bunch of times, you have the beginner, moderate, and advanced. And I don't understand why they went out of their way to change that so drastically. Like, that seems so unnecessary. Like, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure the, the bars that indicate your progress are actually oriented differently. I want to say in the original they went vertical, and then in this game they go horizontal. Um, I may be wrong about that. It's been a long time since I looked at the original, but I, I'm pretty sure that's true. And beyond that, I just don't know why they would remove the indicators. It's a mystery to me. I'd like to someday learn about that, like what happened there, that maybe it was a necessary change for some reason. 
lunchtime, eh? I have no idea. Hanging with the boys, having some lunch. How many crates did I get? I got five crates in the first part of the day, so we're a little more than halfway to quota. Should be able to meet it. Much like your mom, it's very doable. But we're gonna have to work hard. What up, boys? How's your Thursday going? Oh, by the way, is it? Yeah, it's New Year's Day. <laughs> Happy New Year's, guys. Unfortunately, there's not really any, you know, special events or whatnot for that event in this game, but uh, there might be some things we can go see later if we're lucky. Mark. Hey, Dio. What's up? Hey, man, you got a girl? Huh? Uh, I don't really have time for stuff like that. <laughs> well, you at least got your eye on someone, right? Mark, I'm... Dio, I don't know what you plan on getting out of life, but I'll tell you, it sure is a great thing to have yourself a woman. Mark. <laughs> Mark. Mark, you should go on a date once in a while. I know what you're getting at, but I wouldn't want someone important to me to get involved in my problems. Dio, you're a... You're a what? Finish that sentence, Mark. But, Mark... Don't get so obsessed, Dio. Don't go acting crazy. Yeah, I know. Rio thinks he's freaking Spider-Man, putting everybody at risk. <laughs> That's the whole reason you won't go for Nozomi, Rio? I doubt it. Hey... Well, it looks like you've got the hang of things. Yeah, guess so. Hey, Ryo, how long are you planning to continue working here? I haven't decided yet, but not too long. I see. How about yourself? How long you plan on working here? I'm thinking I'll stay for the immediate future. Everyone's so nice and all. Yes, they are. Yeah, I only plan on staying here until I can fulfill my bloodthirsty quest for vengeance, however long that takes. Takeuchi san. Hi. They say there was some commotion last night. Is that so? I heard about a fight with some guys on motorcycles. They said some got hurt real bad. Yes. Yeah, sounds like they had it coming. Um, watch your back, yo. They say this place is crawling with all kinds of thugs. Right. Did he just threaten me? <laughs> watch your back. Hey, Tiyoshi. Hey, yo. So hey, what's your girlfriend like? Uh, I don't really have one now. You know, I really like women that are intelligent as well as cute, sweet, and honest. Yeah, those are good qualities. I just know <laughs> that there's someone like that out there for me somewhere. I hope you find her. You just rattled off like every good quality possible. You're not asking for much, are you? Hey, Ryo, you got a girlfriend? No, I haven't got the time for one right now. I don't have one myself, so I'm really not in a position to talk, but life would be so much better having someone to share it with. You think? <laughs> yeah, just keep staving off that existential loneliness, dude. It'll be okay. Hey, green sweater wearing guy. Sorry about this morning. No hard feelings, right? Um, oh, hey there. Oh, that's all you want to say to me? Dude! Okay, he really doesn't want to talk anymore. <laughs> um, do you know anything about a deal? Huh? The Mad Angels. Don't talk about that sort of thing. Some of them guys have been keeping a close eye on you these days. On me? Yeah, you can tell by that real cold look they always give you. If looks could kill... Is that so? Watch out. Oh, wow. Got a notebook entry. What do you say? Am I being spied on by them too? Good, that will make it easier to look for them. Come on out! <laughs> Rio's getting getting pretty big for his britches, guys. Hisakusa. Rio. Do you know about a deal going down with the Mad Angels? Deal? What deal? Don't go getting yourself mixed up in any strange dealings. No, I'm not. Really? If you say so, just don't get involved in anything dangerous. Yeah. What, like, saving your sister from a gang of girls? About the deal. Sorry, I don't know anything about it. But Ryo, be careful. What? It just sounds so dangerous. Don't worry, I'm okay. Well, I don't really eat anything, but if I did, I would eat danger, so don't worry about it. Excuse me. What? 
Have you noticed anything unusual around at the harbor lately? Are you Hazuki? Yes, I am. Someone's been asking me about you. Oh? Who was it? They looked like a couple of thugs to me. Is that so? Thank you. Hmm, they know my name, guys. That's disconcerting. I'd really like to find my boss. I freaking never see him around here. Oh, this is where my, uh, my work buddies come to hang out on their break. Interesting. Let's not bother them anymore. Hey, you! Um, you talking to me? Have you seen any <laughs> suspicious looking guys around at night? Uh-huh. I think I've seen some. I hear they're the mad angels. Yeah, I guess it was them. Can you tell me anything about some deal they're making? I didn't see anything and I don't know anything. Okay. Come on, dude, I'm not a narc. Don't worry about it. Seriously, though, where is my boss? I don't think he actually works. I think he just, like, hides in the bathroom and jerks off all day. A little messed up, if you ask me. Let's ask some of these security guards. Oh, was that you? Nope, not him. Excuse me. Sorry. Ain't got time to chat with you. Fine, forget it. Um... I'm afraid! <laughs> it's dangerous! Please, don't come any closer! Oh man, I forgot about that line. Excuse me. Excuse me. Forklifts are coming and going around here. Stay back. All right. Oh, that's so funny how when you first talk to him, he's just like, I'm afraid. <laughs> what are you afraid of, buddy? Relax. I'm afraid. Excuse me. What? I want to ask about a deal the Mad Angels are arranging. Know anything about it? A deal? What's this about a deal? Uh, nothing. What's the deal? Ugh. Alright. Let's poke down this way. Maybe our boss is hanging out on this end of things. There's a lot of colorful characters in the harbor, guys. I think that's part of why I like this area so much. It's a little different, you know? Back in Dobuita, you feel like you're at home. But around here, pretty much everybody is a stranger. Um, what do you need? Do you know anything about some deal the Mad Angels are making? The Mad Angels? Snooping around asking about their deals ain't a very bright idea. It's dangerous. You must stop. I see. Why are you so concerned about it? Are you one of them? What are you trying to hide from me? Can't trust anybody, guys. Even the guys in uniform. If you have any idea how easily cops are corrupted, just because you're a cop doesn't mean I can trust you. Don't think I'm fooled. Rio trusts nobody. That's the real reason that he won't date anybody. You can't trust them. Back to work. Was it number 18? That it was, Rio. Okay. So. Gonna be heading all the way back across the harbor still. I think... I don't think they're going to count that last one I was taking over, which is unfortunate. You know, the other nice thing about going into first person is that, like, uh, when you come back out, it kind of zooms the camera out a little farther, so you can actually see your surroundings a little better. What up, Goro? I will catch you later, my friend. Ugh! Oh. Piss off! My time is more important than yours. You may have a family to feed. But I've got capsule toys to buy <laughs> and revenge to facilitate. Alright, there's six. We need two more. Should be able to do this without too much trouble, though. Whoa. You know, honestly, guys, I think that's the entire reason they included the races in the beginning is because it gives you really good practice for driving around this whole area, these tight corners and everything. They're trying to help you out, you know? They want you to make money. And they know that you can't really learn on the job because time is money on this job. And you know, speaking of the races, I suppose instead of like getting gradually worse as the work week goes on, I could like start out at number five and then go four, three, two, one, and just, you know, increasingly get better. And then Mark would be more impressed with me and I'd feel better about myself. 
But doing that, you run the risk of, like, actually screwing up and not being able to finish in first place <laughs> at the end of the week. And that would just feel bad. It's just a safer bet to start at the top and then go down, you know? That's the way I've always seen things. Uh oh. Goro! Goro, what happened? I was just walking with that sailor guy. He. Hey, schoolboy! Come on! <laughs> you bastard. You! Goro! Hey, over here! <laughs> Wait! Let me just blunder right into this trap. He's coming? Haha, <laughs> 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 I took the bait! So you showed, eh? You guys again. What's your problem? Let it be you! <laughs> How dare you! Ooh. Hey, boy. Ah. Oh, that was dope. Oh, no. Hey, no escape, boy. Shit. Oh, guys, he gave me like a like a mule kick right to the stomach. So you showed, eh? You guys again. What's your problem? Let it be you. Let's try this again. No escape, boy. <laughs> right through the box, bitch. Don't you ever forget. That was the double blow. And yes, that is a little different if you don't have that move, guys. I think he does like an elbow assault instead. You're gonna pay for beating up Goro. You his girlfriend. What did you say? Best watch your back. Next time it won't be just you. What? We're gonna go after your family and friends. Gonna get them. That's it. Oh. Now you don't piss me off. That's what you just did right there. All right, but we've avenged Goro, and I guess we're just gonna leave those guys where they were. <laughs> yeah. That one QT, like the very first one I missed there, guys, that was deliberate because I, I always love those QTEs where, like, you miss it and Rio just gets socked in the jaw and he just kind of comes right back yeah. and is just like, oh, how dare you, and just socks him back. It's like, it's like some fucking Terminator shit and I love it every time. There's a bunch like that, more so in Shenmue 2. So. Always a good time with the QTEs. Still kind of adjusting to... The uh, different button prompts. Although, I'm just going to be straight with you guys. A lot of these I still have memorized <laughs> from back in the day. Like, not all of them. Certainly not all of them. But, you know, a fair amount of them, I just I kind of know what's coming. But, I don't know if you've noticed, they've started to pick up a little bit in intensity. Like, they're just coming faster and a little bit more tricksy. There, there's more variety. They're mixing it up a little bit. And they're just like coming like one after the other now. I think the game does a pretty good job of ramping up the difficulty of those. By the time you get to disc three, you know, you've got a little bit of practice in at least. Mwah. Mwah. Wow, this sucks. I hate everybody. I hate all of you so much. Don't just stand there! Get the fuck out of my way! Unaware that he is the target of an assassination, the fisherman waits leisurely for his doom. Oh, but he is stronger than anticipated. Finished for the day. And he will not be budged.
Okay, good job. Here's today's pay. And where were you all day? Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. That'll be 500 yen per crate. Damn! Thank you. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. Yep, crush quota, crush some mad angels. Pretty productive day, guys. Hey, Dio. I overheard some information. Oh? Information? I heard them all whispering something about Long Ja. That is soon. Long Ja? Best I can figure, it's some Mad Angels black market deal. Makes sense. They've been on edge lately. Long Ja. When's it supposed to happen? Did you guys know that Ja is Japanese for couch? Just kidding, I just made that up. But dude, Long Ja is my favorite YouTuber. Let's see. When is the next Long Ja deal? Uh, I think we should go back and talk to Mark a little bit more. He may have some more information than he let on. Mark. Dio, I got some big news. Huh? I overheard Tony and Smith saying that a Long Ja is going down soon. Really? When's it gonna happen? Maybe within the next few days. Ooh. I see. Be careful, Dio. Yeah, you too, eh? No problem. I'm cool, but I'm worried about you, Dio. It's Rio. The date of the Long Ja. Someone must know. Yeah, but finding out ain't gonna be easy. To them, it's like a really big deal, you know? Maybe the only option is to ask them directly. Well, maybe, but Dio... Believe me, I know. But I'm prepared to take the risk. Dio. It's Rio. Let's see. Two foreigners I rarely see. Tony and Smith are part of Long Ja. I rarely see. I've had to fight him like eight times in this game. <laughs> and I always let them get away. But you know what? That's going to change. Tomorrow, I'm going to find those fuckers. And I'm going to beat the information out of them. He threatened my family. And, well, I don't really change my modus operandi at all. But... God damn it, there's gonna be consequences. I'm just going around looking for dudes in beige shirts right now because I really, really want to find my boss. I haven't seen him one time outside of cutscenes. And I don't know where he's lurking. It's it's not even important anymore. It's just a thing that's like bothering me on a personal level. You guys know how it is. I wonder if it's a glitch. <laughs> is it possible for, like, an entire NPC to just kind of, like, spawn out of this game? Wouldn't really put anything past it, I guess. Hmm. Okay, guys. The search for my boss didn't really prove to be fruitful. I found no fruit whatsoever, guys. There was no fruit to be found. So I just decided to do some move training until such time as it was dark, which it now is. And now here comes the moment of truth. I'm gonna run down this way, and I'm gonna see what happens. Hi, Goro. I actually don't really even have time to stop and talk to you. Sorry, but I'll catch you tomorrow. You should really be resting anyway. You got the shit kicked out of you earlier. That couldn't have felt good. Oh, thank Jesus. Hey, mister. Oh, youngin, it's you. I heard about you. Here you're after the Mad Angels. Yes. I know you want revenge, but... If something happened to you, how about the Hazuki tradition? But I... No buts, boy. If no one were left to carry on... Oh, what a shame that'd be. I will show you another move. Hmm? What's that move? It's called the cross charge. Just at the moment you evade, slam into your opponent's side. When you use up against multiple opponents, 
They can all gang up on you, you know. This move is perfect for times like that. Thank you very much. All right, throw move cross charge has been mastered. The prophecy has been fulfilled, guys. We have now learned everything from the bum that we can. Excuse me. Hmm. I ain't feeling so good right now. Try me later. All right. I understand. Rest, venerable old man. You've earned it. So, the cross charge, guys. It, to be honest with you, it's <laughs> it's not a move I use a lot because it's actually really difficult to pull off. Um, it's not really so much an extension of the Shadow Blade as it is like a new form of it. Like the Shadow Blade was an extension of Shadow Step, right? Cross charge is kind of a different move altogether, although it kind of it kind of functions similarly in the sense that it's like an evade plus an attack. It's forward forward Y and B. And it's really, really hard to pull off. Uh, the thing that is really nice about it is that it actually hits multiple people, like he said. In practice, it's kind of like the Tiger Storm in form, but it can hit multiple people. So, I like it. I like trying to use it. I don't land it very often, though. I just wanted it because it's mine, and I like having all the moves in the game. So, thank God we got that. These things have still not been rotated out. I feel like it's been more than a week now. I'm probably wrong about that, but that's how I feel. And uh, I'm pretty upset about it. So I'm going to whine and complain. Well, guys, believe it or not, I don't think we actually have anything else to do at the harbor tonight. I don't think there's any night events that we really need to do. So I'm going to see if I can catch this bus back home. We're going to be cutting it close here. I think I'm good. I've got plenty of time to ask around. Oh, you dick. Oh, see, that's that's what's annoying about this. I'm like 99% sure that there is nothing to do here, guys. Excuse me. You need directions? Well, no. Sorry. But like at this part of the game, they just really want you hanging out here in the harbor. Oh, now I can go. Now I can go. Like after the bus is gone. That's when you can go. <laughs> Yeah, stuff like that. Like, I, I'm not going to try and defend that. That's an annoying design choice. I don't know why they did that. Shenmue 2 issues a lot of that, guys. I guess I'll just kill some time by having an unhealthy beverage. I've been drinking a lot of Coke lately. Let's get some orange in my life. Is that a winning can or is it just orange? It's just orange. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Glug, 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 glug. Ooh. Glug, 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 glug. Ah, good. I really wish Rio would just, like, crush the can when he's done with it. Like a total badass. Show that can his boss. All right, guys, I don't have much else for you right now, so what do you say we listen to a tape while we wait for the bus? What haven't we listened to yet, guys? We've listened to a lot of these. Liquor? I don't think we've heard this. jazzy, isn't it? A lot of these tapes are jazzy. I guess that's what the game considers easy listening. <laughs> and unless I'm quite mistaken, this doesn't appear anywhere besides like that tape right there. What the hell is this? Where is my bus? What the it's freaking Thursday. Should be here. It should have been there right now. I am legitimately confused. Oh, it's a holiday! It's fucking New Year's Day, guys! I didn't even think of that! <laughs> oh, I'm an asshole! Okay, yeah, that, that checks out. That does check out. How about that? Saturdays and holidays, it comes on the 15 and the 45. You got me. You legit got me, Shenmue. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, if it doesn't come now, that's when I'm going to get really scared. That's when I'm like, oh my god. I really am stuck in the harbor. Forever. Legitimately. But there it is. We're not going to get back to Dobuita until after 9 o'clock. Which is okay. I wanted to get back a little earlier, though. But you know what? Sometimes life doesn't work out like that for you. Ain't that a bitch. I'm just feeling a little homesick, guys, honestly. I wanted to come back and just... Soak in the sights of my hometown. See if there's anybody out and about on New Year's Day. Probably not. Everybody's still hung over from last night, I guess. On New Year's Eve. Tom. The all. If there is anything I can do, just ask me, okay? Sure. Alright. Well. As you can see, there are some New Year's decorations put up. They got these little, like, flower bouquets strung up in different places. And there's certain female NPCs that you can see walking around in, like, New Year's robes. Like, holiday festivity robes. Uh, Nozomi's not one of them. <laughs> I don't really remember who. I think it's, like, her her girlfriends, like, uh, Nordico and Aerie. But I don't know where the hell they are. I guess it's a little too late and we missed them. Not a huge deal. I just thought I'd mention it, you know? Oh, yeah, and, like, these New Year's wreaths. That's actually probably the main thing. I don't think those are there, usually. Nozomi. Ryo. When are you leaving for Canada? I don't know yet. It's up to my parents. But I think it'll be soon. Right. Yeah. We'll stay in touch, won't we? Yeah. Said with such conviction. Nozomi. Ryo. Well, I gotta go take care of the flowers. So see ya. Um, I gotta go. <laughs> Why'd he say that like that? Like, uh, oh, I, I gotta excuse myself right now. She was letting you off the hook, dude. It was fine. Tomato store. You make me so happy. I wanna buy ya. I wanna buy all the things you got. Except for the things that I already own. That sounded terrible. Give me a bag of Shenmue potato chips. Hey, man. This. Draw a ticket. Man, that dude works all day at the harbor and then comes here to work at night. I know I've mentioned that like four times. It just still blows me away. Fifth prize. Here you go. Have a good one, man. Thanks, man. Whoa, far out. Is that Espio? Yeah, I think I already had him, didn't I? Thanks, man. Gotta try that one more time. Need more things. Hey, man. This. Draw a ticket. Alright, looking for the other Sega Saturn game. Even though at this point in the game, it honestly doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> no prize. Damn! Bummer. Better luck next time. Alright. I'll count my losses as far as this is concerned. I do want to stop and buy a couple more capsule toys of the regular variety. Pretty close to that achievement, guys. I'd love to actually get it. goes the way it went yesterday though that is absolutely not going to happen and there's nothing I can do about it nothing I say I'm at the mercy of the RNG gods and they do not smile upon the long couch often it's like I've angered them for some reason let's buy like 100 yen each let's buy like two of each of these I think maybe just one I 
I still want the Ninja Kage. Hmm, I know this. They keep faking me out with the people in blue. <laughs> Hi. I should try again. 39 out of 50. That's a blue guy. I got him! Hey, what's this? Yes! Kage 2! Skipped right over Kage 1. Maybe I should get another. Alright, I'm gonna get home late today, guys, because I'm on a spree. I'm buying until I get a dupe. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This again? Fuck you, Ben's Bane. Ben's Bane of my existence, that's what you are. Maybe I should get another. Ugh. I'll pass. I can see why getting 50 unique ones is like a real achievement. 100 yen each. Maybe just one. All right, what do we got here? What is it? Oh, it's Tails. This is cool. That is cool. I'm glad I got that. No collection is complete without Tails, guys. I should try again. If this is another unique one, I'll, I will keep buying. Hurry up and buy. Did I just get the exact same thing? It's the same one. God damn it. Oh, you know what? No. No, I'm not sleeping on that. Maybe I should get another. <laughs> I'm gonna be so late. Inisan's gonna be so mad. Is that a Knuckles? Nope. This again? Uh. I should try again. All right, I'm good. I'll pass. When you get a Ben's Bane out of each machine, that's when you know it's time to stop. That's my new rule going forward. I keep buying until I get a Ben's Bane, which isn't all that different from my old rule. In fact, probably a little worse off. Oh, can I make it home before 11? I'm pretty sure 11.30 is the actual cutoff. Like that's when you'll just be teleported back home and any son will be like, what are you doing, you dumb dick? I was about to call the cops! And you're like, Ine son, I'm like 18. Alright, calm your tits. And she's like, ah, I'm old and cranky, yeah. But I guess she already fell asleep because she's not angry right now. <laughs> okay, well I gotta tell you guys, I was training up the stab armor earlier, and I really like having that on my... L button quick use assignment, so I think I'm actually going to select that specifically. Get that trained up as far as I can, because I'm just going to leave it on L. So, yeah. Alright. We're almost at the end of the week, guys. It has been a super long week, but we've been working hard, and we're almost through it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow.